the United States astronaut, robot, princess, DJ, having it your way, grown up with RJ. Hey, welcome to Growing Up with RJ. I'm RJ. I have no idea what I want to be when I grow up. So today, I've welcomed my really good friend, Caleb. He's a paleontologist, dinosaur guy, expert. Please welcome Caleb. Hey buddy, how are you? Good. Good to see you. You are a paleontologist, correct? Oh yeah. Favorite dinosaur? You mean from the Cretaceous, Jurassic, or Triassic? What's the difference? I thought all dinosaurs lived during the Jurassic period. That's when some of the biggest dinosaurs roamed around, but not T-Rex. When was he around? Cretaceous. If you had to pick one favorite dinosaur. Titanosaur. It's a new type of dinosaur uh, recently found in Argentina. I want to ask you, how long have you been a paleontologist? Ever since I was two. Can you tell me why you need cowboy boots when you're looking for dinosaur bones? These are the only boots I have. Ne well, next to my rain boots and my snow boots. So rain, snow, dinosaur boots. I heard brains of dinosaurs were in their butts. No, but, but guess what? Dinosaurs had brains the size of a walnut. Were they pretty smart? They were a little bit dumb. How would a dinosaur communicate with another dinosaur? Well, sometimes they roar. You are a T-Rex. I'm a Velociraptor. Let's have a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> That was a good joke. Question for you, Caleb. Got it. Dinosaurs, humans, did they live at the same time? No. Nope. If they were around, could we have eaten them? I bet not. What would it have tasted like, you think? Really meaty bugs. Like a beetle or something? Actually, dinosaurs ate beetles. Really? Yeah. Oh. Some dinosaurs ate beetles. Is it possible, do you think, that dinosaurs are still around today? Some paleontologists say yes. Birds are very, very close relatives to dinosaurs. This what guy is, is selling a dinosaur online for $85,000. You think that's real? No. If that was real, would you buy it? No. Why? Too big. I would just break the house. Yeah, this guy's got a weird head. Do you know, do you know why? No. He can, he can play music with his head. He takes a big gulp of air, it goes to his head, and then it goes through the crest and makes music. That's amazing. If we just discovered this right here, how would you go about getting it out? This is to, to, to sweep away all the dirt. Uh -huh. Great, and you can brush his teeth as you do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we've got all the dirt, so you would just trim it out, right? Yeah, trim it out. Mm -hmm. Finish. How many teeth does a T-Rex have? I can't see so many that I can't count. <laughs> I can count to a thousand. Yeah, that's the highest number I can get to. How many years ago did the dinosaurs exist? Last stage of the dinosaurs was 65 million years ago. How long were you in school? Two half years. I started in August and ended in June. And what do you have to study? Lots mm -hmm. and lots of books and talk to lots and lots of paleontologists. How many paleontologists have you talked to? One. Just one? Yeah. Cool. Just one. You know how the Natural History Museum had many bones? Yeah. The ones you see in the museum? are not actually real bones. What are they? They're actually just cast prints. I thought I was looking at real dinosaur bones when I looked at the dinosaur bones. Well, everybody thinks they're real bones. All right, well, Caleb, thank you so much for coming. Wait a minute, do I get to take all of these home? You can have them. These, this, this, and this? Yeah, yeah. Do you want this too? Yeah. You can have it. Yeah! You guys can check out our website at growingupwithrj.com.
www.youtube.com. You can ask a question. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. I love YouTube. Click right here to subscribe.